Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. All right, so we're going to be just assessing our top straight leg coming into the last degrees of extension. And so we're going to be um, assessing hip extension, um, what kind of activation we're getting in our glute and our hamstring mostly as we come into that, those last few degrees of extension. So it's, it's usually nice to have a pillow. I'm going to have to move my pack. And for most people, it's also nice to maybe have like a little burrito roll under the waist. And so we're going to come in here. And I want to be about a leg's length away from the wall. My bottom knee is going to be bent. And I, I want to make sure that my heel is in line with my hip. Um, yeah. So from here, you know, most people, when you're just hanging out and relaxing, your hip's going to be up to your armpit. So you want to cue yourself to, to get your hip away from your armpit, and you also want to try to stack your shoulders and stack your hips. Now, my, whole, my full foot is on the wall, and I want it to be parallel. I'm wanting to feel all four corners of my foot, and then I want to try to bend my knee a little bit um, and keep my foot in the same position, and then I have my hand on the bottom of my glute and my hamstring. So I want to press mostly with my heel into the wall and super slow come into hip extension and knee extension and then I'm feeling like okay is the firing of my glute coming on a little bit before my hamstring and then I'm going to go into that bend again so this side is my a little bit of my problem child so I have to really cue my glutes to activate um, and not to have my hamstring take over. All right, so I'm gonna get my foot straight. I'm gonna press into my heel. And for me, I also have to think of like a little secret um, pelvic tuck, press into my heel, because this hip doesn't like to come into optimal hip extension. So I have to think of a little secret tuck, keeping my head, my ribs, and my pelvis in line, and I keep driving my heel into the wall. Oh, and then I have a really good glute firing there. Good. So this is just, it's pretty intense if you do it with the, the right efforting, and you go slow, um, and you're really cueing all of those different parts. Now it just depends on the individual. Like for me, I told you this right hip is one that I need to concentrate on. I know that it, it doesn't fully like to come into optimal extension, so I gave myself that cue of the secret tuck. Um, and then I was also cueing myself to get my glute to engage and to keep that engagement as I slowly extended my knee. And, you know, the, the, that's why you have to, that won't be the cue for everyone. If I was on my left side, it would be a whole different batch of cues because that leg works a bit differently than my right. So just be curious and really watch your clients and try to give them a lot of, of uh, detailed individual cueing. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.